Our public health data indicates that the majority of our cases are coming from household spread, where transmission can be rapid when people let down their guard. Today, we're urging everybody to make a difficult choice this Thanksgiving. If we treat this year just like we treat every other Thanksgiving, it's quite likely that it will trigger a significant spread. And we know that that leads to serious illness for many, and in rare cases, death, especially among our senior citizens. This virus, as we all know, thrives in indoor social environments where people let down their guard. We saw what happened in Canada following their Thanksgiving in October, where they had a big spike in cases literally almost two weeks to the day after their holiday. And we simply can't afford to have that happen here. The Department of Public Health has put out guidance to help plan for a safe celebration. The best way to celebrate Thanksgiving is to only gather with members of your household, the people you live with. Any group gathering beyond this poses a significant chance of spreading the virus. DPH's guidance outlines the risks associated with gathering and has some tips about how important it is to wear masks and how to prepare food and serve it safely. That information is available at mass.gov slash Thanksgiving 2020. And as a reminder, our indoor gathering limit is 10 people for private gatherings. I know people are tired of hearing me talk about this stuff, but we are in the midst of a second surge, and it's critical that we take all the necessary steps that are not only designed but proven to keep us healthy. And this is particularly true for families that have grandparents and older relatives that are high risk and could fall critically ill from COVID-19.